What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back in the video, we got the best of President Reagan's humor. Now, if y'all new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Appreciate y'all for tuning in to the King Supreme Gang. Back with another video, back with another reaction today. So, we got some more comedy on there. We got another banger in this bitch. We got the president, bro. You feel me? President Reagan's humor, bro. So, I just want to request it down below in the comments. So, I had to get to it expeditiously. Appreciate y'all for all the cool suggestions and recommendations y'all been giving me recently, bro. Really means the most to me and really helps your boy uh, be more consistent and stuff like that. So, I really do appreciate that. But yeah, I had no idea President Reagan, bro. Obviously, Ronald Reagan. I know I think he was funny, bro. You feel me? Obviously, I know he was one of our presidents type shit, but I had no idea dude was funny, bro. So, I was interested to get to this one right here. Let me know if I mess with this kind of video and let me know more videos. I should get to down below in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more videos. Turn the post notifications on so you'll get updated every single time I drop another video. You know we're on the road to 100K, so I gotta keep being consistent for y'all. Keep on putting these videos out for y'all. Keep on showing up for y'all because y'all continue to show up for your boy. So we're gonna get straight into this one. I don't want to talk your heads off too much, but yeah, dog. Interesting video, dog. Don't y'all th think, bro? The best of President Reagan's humor. Had no idea this dude was funny, bro. But I'm very, very excited for this one. And as I always say, be sure to continue to put down below in the comments what videos you wanna see next. And I got y'all more of the bangers but let's get straight into this one we got the best of president reagan's humor let's get straight to it and let's go <laughs> yeah. i just want to oh i can't resist i'm supposed to quit right here but, oh yes oh. Yeah. Yeah. but in view in view of the fast things that i just said I don't know whether you know it or not, but I have a new hobby. I am collecting stories that I can actually prove are told among the Russian people. They make them up themselves, they tell them between themselves, reveals they got a great sense of humor, and they've also got a little cynical attitude about things in their country. And uh, one of these stories, the one I'm gonna tell you, I told to General Secretary Gorbachev, and he laughed. <laughs> The story was an American and a Russian arguing about their two countries. And the American said, look, in my country, I can walk into the Oval Office, I can pound the president's desk and say, Mr. President, I don't like the way you're running our country. And the Russian said, I can do that. The American said, you can? He says, yes. I can go into the Kremlin, to the general secretary's office, pound his desk and say, Mr. General Secretary, I don't like the way President Reagan's running his country. <laughs> Speaker, President, that was funny, though. distinguished members of the Congress, honored guests, and fellow citizens. Today marks my first State of the Union address to you, a constitutional duty as old as our republic itself. President Washington began this tradition in 1790 after reminding the nation that the destiny of self-government and the preservation of the sacred fire of liberty is finally staked on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. For our friends in the press who place a high premium on accuracy, let me say, I did not actually hear George Washington say that. <laughs> I, uh, I can define middle-aged. That's when you're faced with two temptations and you choose the one that'll get you home at nine o'clock. <laughs> we have a realtor who was out driving on a back road on his way to look at some property and suddenly noticed down beside him was a chicken keeping pace with him and he was doing 60 miles an hour. <laughs> and suddenly the chicken spurted out ahead of him and it looked to him as if the chicken had three legs. And then it turned and went down the sign road and into a barnyard and the driver turned down that lane, drove into the barnyard, there was a farmer there, and he asked him, he said, did you see a chicken go by here? And the farmer said, yep. He says, did it have three legs? And the farmer says, yep. I raise them that way, I breed them. He says, you do? He said, how, how come? Well, he said, I just love the drumstick, and Ma always liked the drumstick, and now Junior's come along, and he likes it, and we just got tired of fighting over it, so I've been breeding three-legged chickens. <laughs> and the driver said, well, how do they taste? He says, I don't know. I haven't been able to catch one yet. <laughs> there's nothing I enjoy more than a little country humor. Yo, why is he actually One of the great funny, things about though? having you here is that I get to tell a farm joke. 
<laughs> now first I need a setting, but um, uh, Rick, uh, you're from Kansas, right? You bet. Okay, this takes place in Kansas. Uh, you know, there was an old Kansas farmer there. He had a piece of creek bottom land that had never been developed at all. It was all rocks and brush and all messed up. And he started in on it, clearing it. The funny thing about it is too, bro, he's funny as shit. You know what? But I love the way uh, as well, like he, he tells stories type shit. Like he keeps you like engaged, like... You feel me? You know how storytellers, like, he seems like a re just a really good storyteller type shit. Like, um, obviously, I know about Reagan. I haven't, you know, didn't really, I haven't, I don't really, obviously, learned about him in school type shit, everything. But, you know, I, just from this video, like, he seems like a really good storyteller. I don't know about Kansas him, farmer there, he had a piece of creek bottom land that had never been developed at all. It was all rocks and brush and all messed up. And he started in on it, clearing it, the underbrush and hauling away the rocks. And then cultivating the soil there and he planted a garden everything from vegetables on to corn and and uh, it really became a garden spot and he was pretty proud of what he'd done so one sunday morning in church after the service he asked the preacher if he wouldn't stop by to have a look well the preacher arrived and he took one look and he said oh this is wonderful he said these are the biggest tomatoes i've i've ever seen praise the lord he said, those green beans, that squash, those melons. He said, the Lord really has blessed this place. And look at the height of that corn. He said, that God has really been, been good. And the old boy was listening to all this, and he was getting more and more fidgety. And finally, he blurted out, Reverend, I wish you could have seen it when the Lord was doing it by himself. <laughs> And as he was falling, grabbed a limb sticking out the side of the cliff and looked down 300 feet to the canyon floor below and then looked up and said, Lord, if there's anyone up there, give me faith. Tell me what to do. And a voice from the heavens said, if you have faith, let go. <laughs> he looked down at the canyon floor and then took another look up and says, is there anyone else up there? I've always thought of the importance of communication and how much a part it plays in what you and I, what all of us are trying to do. And one day, a former place kicker with the Los Angeles Rams, who later became a sports announcer, Danny Villanueva, told me about communications. He said he'd been having dinner over at the home of a young ball player with the Dodgers. The young wife was bustling about getting the dinner ready. They were talking sports, and the baby started to cry. And over her shoulder, his busy wife said to the ball player, change the baby. And he was a young fella, and he was embarrassed in front of Danny, and he said, what do you mean, change the baby? I'm a ball player. That's not my line of work. And she turned around, put her hands on her hips, and she communicated. <laughs> she said, look, Buster, you lay the diaper out like a diamond. You put second base on home plate, you put the baby's bottom on the pitcher's mound, you hook up first and third, slide home underneath, and if it starts to rain, the game ain't called, you start all... <laughs> there aren't any words to... Bro, why is this dude hilarious as fuck, though? Yo, bro. Like, he is funny as shit, bro. How did I not know Hareka was actually type shit funny, though? Type shit, he actually hilarious. Yo, bro, that's fun. Thank y'all for this suggestion. Let me know. I need more videos like this, bro. So let me know if y'all want any more videos like this type shit or whatever presidents or whatever type shit. I don't give a fuck. I, you know, y'all know I love the funny shit, bro. And genuinely, this dude is actually uh, hilarious, bro. I'm gonna continue though, bro. But pitcher's mound, you hook up first and third, slide home underneath, and if it starts to rain, the game ain't called. You start all. <laughs> there aren't any words to. I can properly tell you how bittersweet these days are. And the things that we would like to say to all of you, you know, I keep remembering back and uh, not too far when someplace along the line there would always be a picture of a president standing in the old office and looking out the window, usually the picture from behind, and he's standing there and then his words are quoted as a tag for that picture about this is the loneliest place and what a lonely 
and so forth. I don't know about them. I haven't been lonely one minute. <laughs> He's so cool though, bro. He's so chill. Like obviously I don't really dive into politics type shit. So I obviously I don't really know too much about his actual his presidential run type shit. Just me personally. Obviously I learned about him when I was in school and shit, bro, but not too not too in deeply, in depth, whatever, but I don't give a fuck, bro. This dude's funny as shit, bro. Fuck all the all the politics, all the other bullshit. Not bullshit, but all the politics, all the other shit aside, bro. This dude has some crazy ass humor, bro. He's he funny as shit. I love that type of humor. I think he's funny as shit. Let me know if y'all feel the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? Other people have different types of humor type shit. So some people can think that's funny. Some people might not think it's not funny. But I think it's actually pretty funny. So let me know if y'all like that video. Let me know if y'all like my reaction. And please continue to let me know more videos I should get to down below in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share for more videos. Turn the post notifications on so you'll get an update every single time I drop another video. And uh, yeah, you know it's gonna keep on going crazy on the channel. Road to 100K. So I'm gonna keep on getting these videos out for y'all. And yeah, shout out to that dude, bro. Shout out to y'all for putting me onto this one. And please, please keep giving me cool, unique ass uh, banger suggestions like this, bro. This is what I love on my channel to get to new stuff, to get to unique stuff like this. So had no idea about it, but y'all put me onto it. So keep on doing that for me, and I really do appreciate that. Love y'all so much. Thank y'all for everything y'all be doing for me, and I will have videos out very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's your boy King Supreme. We out of this bitch.